What's up, everybody at home? Welcome to the seventh episode of Isn't Just a Game, uh, powered by MTN FC. My name is Justin Lala, and I'm your host. As usual, I'm a fit, like, and I got you. And my guest for today, I got the man that started his career in Zimbabwe for a team called Ghana's. He was telling me that, you know, his coach or he, the owner of the team used to love, like, oh, he loves Arsenal. So he, he created his own team in Zimbabwe. Played for Ajax Cape Town. Mm. Interesting, you were there with the uh, Bo Serrero, mm. and um, are you, mm. were you in that group like that? Yeah. Uh, nearly won the league. Mm. Yeah, that group, special group, like you know. But you guys were like five to from winning the league. But uh, did Chiefs take it away from you guys, or was it Sun out? You are the one. You remember. <laughs> remember, you you beat us for one. Yo, yeah, okay. In, in so we one. messed it up. Sorry, bro. I will take it back. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, he played for Kaiser Chiefs as well. Uh, played over 300 games at Kaiser Chiefs. And ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome Salt and Pepper. <laughs> That's mm. another name we're going to talk about. Uh, Willy Katsande. What's up, my boy? What's up, big bro? Thank you very much for having me here. And um, I'm happy to be in there. Yeah. What you been up to, bro? Like, what's up? Like, I know, I know you like, you know, you're part of the furniture now. you part of the family. You were visiting me last time when I yeah. had skates here. So, what is Katanda up to, though? Nah, my husband. No. <laughs> You've always been a husband, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 full time. No, no preseason, no camping, no camping uh, uh, before the game. So, I'm always home. So, yeah. No camping, so, no more. So, you nothing. hate the camping? I, I hate it uh, with all my. And do you know, we're camping now, we go for a car wash. <laughs> I hate that. Eh? I hate it. It was like we're in prison, bro. Like, most of the time we're in camp, and a lot of people like didn't understand it. Like, we get there, you want to go take a piece, like somebody's guarding you, mm. everything that you do, whatever. And I, I, come, I come from a culture where, like, the teams that I played for, they, they never camped. We only met up at the stadium. We camped only when we played away. Yeah, exactly. So coming to Sundowns and coming to Chiefs, like, it was a totally, like, you know, like a culture shock for me. Because, like, now you're sleeping at hotels. There are people that left the hotel and whatever. But I don't know. How did you feel about all this camping stuff? Yeah, you know, sometimes it becomes tiring, especially when when you, you came the day before the game, you're playing at home. Uh, you're playing at home, obviously, I mean, going to camp, like, you're 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and the game is the next day, 8 o'clock. The day before, yeah. It, it, it's so tiring. And, like, when you're traveling, especially teams in Europe, they do that. when They, they, they camp when they're traveling so that you know that you're traveling, you, you get to the hotel, you rest, and you play. But here in, 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 in Africa, South Africa, it's difficult, especially when you're playing at home. You came, you you leave the house at two, go to training at four. Yeah. You know, and yeah, then yeah. you play Straight at eight o'clock camp. next yeah, day. Yeah. So you think too much about the game to the extent of uh, first fifteen minutes, your mind is, is even tired with fatigue because you're actually thinking like, I don't need to mess up. I need to play a good game A B C D. So when football is too much um, information, you you you're bound to make mistakes. And make no mistake, you're in camp from two o'clock to next day. To the next and you day. play somebody. Who never be camping? He make your life miserable next day. You <laughs> didn't ask yourself. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What's, what's the point of the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the teams exactly. that never camp, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, so you think like, you know, if you're a coach, mm. like I know that, you know, you're coaching youngsters right now. Like mm. you had to be like a, a senior coach or a Premier League uh, coach. Would you like still make it your, 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 your players camp the day before? If you're playing at home, would you do that? No, not really because they are professionals. Yeah. I trust them. Yeah. Because in this game, you know, big bro, you play the game to the highest level. If there's no trust, yeah, there's no team. So I have to trust them because they know the players. This, this, their was their bread is buttered. Yeah, yeah. You understand? I'll tell them to arrive maybe like your your four o'clock. If the the the, the, the game is at eight o'clock, eight o'clock yeah. then the pre match and and uh, uh, meeting, yeah. then you jump into the bus to the stadium. Because I I, I was told like growing up um, in Europe, like these teams most of the time why they don't camp is that. They would rather have them at their familiar, like, you know, spots. Like at home, you're chilling with your wife and the kids. You're more relaxed. 100%. Right? You're more relaxed and whatever. So what you said, the next day, if they're playing at home, they're going to meet up there for pre-match meeting. Yes. And then from the probably, like, wherever they're having the lunch or maybe having the lunch, the pre-match at the stadium, mm -hmm. from the stadium, they go underneath to the changing room and whatever. And I think this is where 
South African teams gotta learn. And also, you save money. I mean, camping, like, you spend a lot of money, bro. And also, the mindset of a player is yeah. fresher. He's leaving yeah. the house. Maybe yeah. you get a kiss from your kids, your wife. Mm-hmm. You know, you just jump and uh, bond with your teammates for less than two hours. You're getting there. You're yeah. sharp. And it's, it's easier than to, to be there because you become here. Because the, the next thing you'll be doing in camping, you'll be sleeping during the, the entire day. I was you sleeping know? most of the time. Yeah. I, I, used like, to, I used to sleep I the whole day, I bro. Know. <laughs> I used to sleep. <laughs> bro, you, like you, you play for like Kaza Chiefs for like, over three hundred games. Um, would you consider yourself a legend of uh, Kaza Chiefs? Do you want me to give you TV answers or <laughs> raw answers? Give me raw. Give Give me a raw answer. That's what That's what we have here. Obviously, like we don't want to be disrespectful to anybody and whatever. But I, obviously, a lot of people. We we always hear people complain about this legend name that's that's been like you know uh, called out around. So where now? Mm. I'm asking you that you consider yourself a a Kaiser Chiefs legend, like your fellow teammate Nengo. Nengo is a legend. No, f- we know that. For right? me, if I give you the answer, yeah, I hope you're gonna see me <laughs> the same way. No, no, you're my boy. Oh. You're my boy. You're my okay. boy. You gotta. I want you to give nah, me an honest I answer. Am. Straight I up, am, straight I am, up. I am a legend, hundred percent, because I feel myself like I've, I've done enough for the club, and um, I'm the the I have the 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 most appearance as a foreign foreign player. No. Yes. So you, you even Nengo like you, yeah, more than Nengo with one game. With ah, <laughs> aye, aye, Ch- aye, Champions League final. Ah, it doesn't count. <laughs> oh, Champions League final. One game. You see, I'm telling you, three hundred and okay. what? 340, 45. Nengo. And then we had 44. Yeah. And you guys, you were there for 10 years. And how long How long was he there for? 11. <laughs> oh, you beat him to, to, to it, bro. Because you made, you played more games. Yes. Uh, less than a year. Yeah. Than I, I was playing with injuries. Because I knew one day it's going to come whereby I'm not going to play ever again. So what did I leave behind? So sometimes you know that that, that, that cup final last one against some um, pirates. Yeah. I didn't have armstring. No, no, I didn't not, even not, see it. Not, not, you see, no. Were you injured? All. Yeah, hundred percent. Me Why and did, coach, we knew. Ah, we knew. Well. Me and him. Uh, so you played. With, well, you played with uh, with the hamstring injury. Yeah, without uh, hamstring. Not, really? Yes, I'm telling you. I didn't even see it. You see, me and coach, we knew each other. So when the, the goal that Marsha scored. Yes. No way, it's in Devon. I, I was sitting, you know, that, that season I didn't play that much. You I was know, sitting on the stands, yeah. That, that's, that, remember, we, 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 we were driving on set pieces that, that, oh, that yes. time. And we, we've been profiling uh, Pirates for two weeks, uh, set pieces. And uh, there was only one guy, we don't mention his name, he's going to go and check it himself, like he's the reason why we won that cup. That guy was always delaying to move the line when they were clearing the line when the set pieces coming. Oh, so we, we 14 days in the video room always watching the same guy. The same guy, he was always late. Then we said, Mandla and uh, Libisi, can you try to take them on on the side? Get us a free kick. When you get a free kick, we, everybody look at the I coach. Coach that, says, yeah, yeah. take your time. Every time we got to go by set piece, and, corner and kick. Guess what? Kick, yeah. Our main guy we've been profiling for two weeks, he never disappointed us. <laughs> Then who was that? Who was this guy though? Who was he, this guy? He say he plays for he, he yeah, used to you play gotta call him out. You gotta call him out. I mean, he's no longer playing anymore. Uh, so it, it was then Clay. Ah, Clay was lazy. Yeah, I mean, he's we, not a defender. We, we, you know, expect that from him. That's you know football. I mean, with yeah. the, the game where the game is going, everything is improving. So uh, 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 I mean, credit must go to the analysts uh, who picked it up. You understand? Then. Yeah. Your sanguine and is it Mahmoud or Lucky? Yeah. They, they they cleared the line because they were marking Masha, not knowing the oh, guy far post. Oh, he played everybody on. Oh, you you and yeah, you've yeah. been looking at that. So that was, I mean, I mean, something like it was a tactical. And after that, we defended. You know, we were very good at defending. Like we're talking about, the, that was the last cup that Kaiser Chiefs won. That was like ten years ago, right? Mm-hmm. Close to ten years ago. Are, are you not the one who why why bo peeling? No, no, no. No, it's okay. No, me, bro. Okay. No, no, me. No, oh, maybe I could we never do that. I want Chiefs to win we, stuff. We went with the luck. Okay, let's <laughs> There was no luck. Anyway. There was no luck. Obviously, oh. I remember the coach every time he used to say, I know we're going to score. He knew that we were not playing, like, you know, beautiful football then, but we were winning games. 
right? And he knew that he understood that you know set pieces it's a goal because he knew the strength of the team. You had the Masha, you had you, we had uh, Tower as well. You know what I mean? They scored a lot of goals with defenders. That's when Masha got like the player of the season, yes, right? Yeah. Yes. Now, talking about Coach Stuart Basta, a lot of people are like, ah, that guy, mm. um, like you know, doesn't know what he's doing. Mm. What would you say about him? For me, he, he knew what he was doing. Look, uh, he, he took over the team, didn't do well the last season uh, of VV, mm. you know, and taking the team from the day one and uh, dominating the league. We never went out of top two. Ooh. The first season, the first season, yeah, remember, the first season when, when he joined. Oh, yes. Then the next season, we, we lost the league last day with two sundowns. So meaning that we never went out of top two. Yeah. Then the other season we, we come back again and win the league. So those three three years he was he was he was consistent. And if you look at the millions he brought to the team, those three years, the, 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 your is it your telecom your net bank we lost to, to vest to penalties oh, yes, yes, yes. or the semi final. Yes. You you know we were always like top we were three. always there. Yeah. And the other thing about uh, uh, Bugs, I mean why his job was easier during our era, your era. Yeah. You guys were coming from Europe. Yeah. Oh, and we have players we just played the World Cup. As as we were coming from Zim, yes, yeah, yeah. as we were coming from Zim, we were international players. Yeah. So international player to give information, it's easy. So it was international players they, they meet yeah. six days yeah. to play a fantastic game. That's true. So international player the way they think uh, is 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 very high. Like you just said, like we're not playing the best. You know, you know that kind of mindset. Yeah. Do you say, guys, not the to, best football today, ever. Today is not our day. Can yeah. you get that one corner kick? Understanding that, right? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. it was easier for the coach. Yeah. Was the coach exactly? He was a very good uh, motivator, and the ta- the tactic he was yeah. great. Yeah. Remember, we d- used to do two sessions a day. Yeah. The other session afternoon was for five minutes for set pieces only. People don't know that. People don't know that. And, you understand? And like tell the people if, if you'd like to tell the people about. I used to love his sessions. Each and every team that we played against. I know there's coaches that train the same way, twenty four seven and whatever. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'd like you to tell the people, like you know, in terms of I, I liked how he strategizes train according to the opponent that mm. he's gonna be, mm. like you know, uh, we're gonna be playing against. Mm. How did you see his sessions most of the time, and did you like them? For me, I, I, I woke up every single day, looking forward to training session because I knew that there is um. Something. There is something new, something I'm going to learn to enjoy. Yeah. You know, not like you wake up in the morning as you think of a uh, uh, traffic, you think of uh, <laughs> yeah. what, the, the face you're going to to meet a training. You're gonna it's, run. It's become hard. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. no, but like, can I go then say that I'm I'm having flu? Yeah. You understand yeah. because that's how much you 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 are head, you had training. Yeah. But with Baxter, there's always something new, and these training sessions were very short and sweet. There was. A purpose of a training session, especially when you go to play pirates, you know that uh, this is uh, what we change to totally. Yeah. If we put our back four nicely and uh, and two uh, two two defensive midfielders resist resist, they're gonna over the erratic. Yeah. They're gonna overplay. You win it. You go straight to the throat. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. And the, the same thing you train about it, it's gonna eventually happen in the game. Only so you see, yeah. his yeah. training sessions yeah. were, were were very productive. I still have it in my mind. He you know, t- I, he told you. I remember. Uh, yeah, I, I wanna be like him one day. Because it was very crystal clear, and he managed to explain everybody's role yeah. in the team. Yeah, I remember he used to tell. He used to say, "This is the only way these guys are gonna score." And if they score, he's like, he will come back to you and be like, ah, "But I told you." But I told you. Yes. This is how they're gonna score, and this is how they scored. And he will tell you that this mm. is how we're gonna score, and then mm. that's how we ended up scoring. So 100%. let me ask you a question: Was he a good coach or not? I know that one is the, the ratings on the wall. He was <laughs> he, not just good great you heard it from you heard it from the man i always i always told people that and people are like ah not that guy played like boring football and whatever i'm like one of the best tacticians that i've ever worked under you know i've learned a lot from him and i think like if kazaa chiefs were patient enough to give him a chance because Chiefs could have been fine right now you know because i think he would be like you know challenging the likes of uh rulani rulani i mean he's killing a lot of teams out. rulani was was gonna be challenging chiefs because oh, yes. you remember oh, yes. when he left Yes. We were on the driving seat. Oh yeah. Three years we were dominating. You understand? Yeah. So basically it was continuity. That's when Sundown started to took the success, if you still remember. Because oh, yeah, yeah. when you guys left, yeah. you all of you guys left. You yeah. left us, even the coach. We start struggling from there. Who took over then? It, it was Coach Steve. Oh so yeah, but yes, yes. <clears throat> in terms of 
the guys we we played with you guys i think you left i think seven the foundation eight. of the, the team kind of like left at the same yeah, time the dressing yeah, room you know yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's when sundowns maneuver from there oh, so yeah. when sundowns uh, uh, get the success yeah. they, they, they 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 grab it with the throat they, they never don't want to release yeah, it yeah. because you know how hard it is to to look for that success yeah. so i feel like we should have been talking a different story today if we continue in that manner because we were everybody now even new players were coming we were not crazy to say we need dozens it was just one two three four let me ask you this question bro so so you think the decision that kaiser chiefs made then is starting to bite them now so in terms of like i know we're not going to play forever mm-hmm. I, you knew you were not going to play forever but letting go of seven players or eight players the mm-hmm. key players mm-hmm. at the same time do you think that's actually what is happening right now because now the foundation has long gone now it's totally difficult for them to kind of like bring themselves up do you think the decision that they made back then 10 years ago is coming back to bite them now is that what you think 100 percent. why i'm saying so because football is a continuity it's a project look at real madrid the 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 real madrid won a three consecutive champions league it's not there anymore do you know that it's only Modric and cross left. Oh. Then, yeah. But what did they do? Yeah. They started recycling whilst the others were what were there. Oh, yes. Now look at the Real Madrid at the moment. They yeah. got from 18 years to 23. And those players already won Champions League. They are not youngsters. You're Vini. You're yeah. Rodrigo. There's a 20, Be- 20 year olds, Be- 21 year olds. Yeah. Bellingham. Yeah. Uh, Kamavinga. Yeah. They're 21. 19, yeah, 19. But the way they think, my friend, Real Madrid is safe in the next 13 years. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, yeah. so yeah. You, knowing that this success is within the, uh, the the house, we're supposed to replace your job starting earlier. Why is they there? Just w- oh, so, yeah. while so I'm there, there's somebody they, sitting they, out. Then the youngster like, yeah, can yeah, learn yeah. from you. Oh, yeah. By the time you go out, mm. no, everybody's going to celebrate, ah, Josta was, was a good player. But a youngster is already known. The <sighs> demands. You understand? So, getting rid of the core, because sometimes it's not only about playing, kicking the ball. Sometimes it's about the dressing room. I don't know, when, when I came into the dressing room, you guys were there. I accepted my position like I'm young. I respected you guys. I never had a problem with anyone. Because that was the culture in the dressing room. Oh, yes, yes. But if you don't have the dressing room now, everybody's coming, everybody's coming, everybody's, everybody's coming for Instagram followers. <laughs> you know, get what I'm saying? It's totally different. I came with the mindset like, you know what? Yeah. I'm coming from my forward and Zim. No, but you, you, had, you had no like, phone. You see, you had no phones. So this boys, stop hating on the boys. I mean, these boys have got phones, they've got the technology. You come from the bushes, right? You, yes. you, you were from the farms and whatever. You had nothing when you came here. Yeah. You came here to work. And obviously, like, now you have to... There's a guy that's sitting that was playing, that's a regular, mm. who's your teammate, Zimbabwean teammate, mm. and now you have to take him out of the way. Yes. And I, I used to watch you guys fight. When you first came, I'm, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to lie, I'm not going to lie. When you first came through <laughs> from Ajax and you signed with Chiefs, and you used to like you know you know how Nengo how strong he is, mm. and and uh, Ghost Lady, this guy used to bulldoze the poor guy. You know Nengo was strong, and this guy the fight in the middle was just so crazy. You know what I mean? And at the end he ended up being the the number one center midfielder, taking out the great, and starting there. And he understood that he had to work. He took out somebody that has been there in the team, that has been loyal to the team, that's worked for the team for so long, and he knew that he had to go through him mm. to be number one and once he got there he, you never look back you see that that's the thing i'm telling you but i took the number with respect there's okay. no way you're going to and, and disrespect the people who understand the culture yeah. you know so i feel like those th- those are the moments we we are looking at the moment in 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 in, in, in our in our in our, in our camp at the moment yeah. it's not like only how talented is are they but here yeah, you understand the mentality, the strong, mentality. Yeah. is it there that's if you don't have a dressing room it's difficult to go and compete there so i feel like the time i came into the in, 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 into in, into the village uh, there was a culture there was there was ranks there was respect mm. you know in a way of like as much as i can play as much as i can mess around but they they'll call you to to order so now at the moment we are lacking the the leadership in the in the squad to us to for us to to be dominant. Well, 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 before we started recording, we were talking about understanding your role as a player in the team. Do you think like most of the players that you see in the team, they understand what they're supposed to be doing? They because I, 
I, I'm the believer of it's a team. Mm. And individually, if each and every player that's playing on the field understand their role, mm. if they are combined and they all understand what they have to do, they have to break. Yeah, you have a team. So do you really believe that when you look at them, I don't know how often you watch them, mm. when you look at them when you're watching the games, do you think they understand what they're supposed to be doing? Do you mm. think they understand the, the, the badge that's on, that's on their chest? Do you think they understand the color of the jersey that they're wearing? All of that. I know it's a lot of questions out there. Mm. Do you think most of those players, do they understand what they're dealing with? They don't. For me, they don't. Personal. And without listening to anyone, they don't. Mm. They're just a group of players, like I said, they're playing for, for different um, reasons. You're talking about cell phones. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. They go in the FNB, okay, FNB, maybe got 3,000 people watching you. They thought, ah, this is just a few few numbers. There are millions at home watching. Millions in Africa watching that team. Zim, you got a lot of Zim as well, right? You understand? Yeah. Millions and millions of yeah. people watching yeah. and performing like that. Trust me, if they go, if you really want to know that the, 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 the environment you are in, go a cast. Go to the garage. Don't hide yeah. from supporters. Engage yeah. them. Yeah. They'll tell you how much they love that team. And Kaiser Chiefs supporters, they don't have a player they say they hate. They support every player, it's if, especially when you give them what they want, yeah. which is commitment and performance. You understand? Mm. So I feel like they don't understand the environment they are in. The minute they understood, you understand, the, 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 the surroundings, they're going to perform well. How do you feel as a player, current player at the moment, playing for Chiefs, right? Mm. You look around in the, in the lounge, you look around the way there's a case of chiefs function. They play the videos of a uh, 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 chairman mm. talking. Me and you, our pictures are still are still appearing on oh, the TV. Yeah. How do you feel, my friend? I'm going. And yours is not even there. Yeah, uh, my mine is not there. Oh, my friend, I'm gonna go make twenty rounds. Like uh, my name needs to be there, but for them, uh, it's fine. So it was for the legacy for you. Yes. So for me, yes, I really wanted money to. I mean, obviously, money for me to right. to survive, but. Yeah. What do you leave behind? Like some of them you're not gonna call them here yeah, isn't just a game all about podcast. <laughs> because they didn't some they don't have anything to offer. I hear you, I hear you. They I don't have you. anything to offer. And to, it goes quickly, eh? It goes quickly. Goes quickly yeah. It goes quickly. Yeah. Because now even people are still talking about me. I left chips a long time ago. Mm. But they said, Baba, yes. We are we are learning. Yeah. Yeah. It's two season young. Yeah. And that's it's sad. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. Yeah. Serious. So for me, if if it's coming across my my ears. I start thinking. I'm. I start thinking. seeing things different, yeah. in terms of, hey, six for me clearly, I haven't done enough. Okay, I'm playing still by Katanda's role, but people are still talking about Nengo and Katanda. Who <laughs> long gone? Yeah. Clearly, I, 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 there's something wrong with me. So introspection is key. Some of them, ah, uh, you know, uh, uh, nonsense. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's for the vibe. It's for the vibe. It's for the vibe. It's for the vibe. It's It's gone. If you are in in your own corner, four walls inside your house, you can hit yourself hard. Like you know what, that baller should have been quicker to get that should ball. Have. You, what did you, you say? say? Did, you, did you just say what did you say? Should have. Yes, what, should uh, have. Should have. Coach Baxter said. He used to say, like, you know, you shouldn't have those moments mm. where you're saying, I should have. I should yes. You should give it your all. You see. So that after the game, you're like, mm. I gave it my all. Even if I lost, I know I did well. It's true. You don't, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have yes. this thing of saying, I, I should have just tucked it in. I should have tried to block it and whatever. That's the most important thing. Like, just exactly. giving, giving it your all and giving like making all. sure that you play yes. the game as if it's your last, right? For sure. And you know that that thing has been rubbing from generation after generation after generation. Like, yeah. you know what? Especially when you play for Chiefs, you don't know the next player you're playing against. He wants to take your contract. Ah. So clearly you're fighting ah. an opponent, you're fighting management, teammates. you're fighting teammates, you're fighting supporters, you're, you're doing it for a family. Five things in a match. Hold up, hold up. You understand? Na- name, that, name that again. And a lot of people don't understand. They think that, you know, football players are just, they play for fun. They don't understand the pressure that we go through. No. I want you to name all those things that you fight you know, against. When you're playing for Chiefs, it's just more than a game. You're playing, fighting against your opponent, your management, your teammates, your family. You understand? So, so the fans, what you see, your fans, your fans. Yeah. Your fans. Yeah. So you can say five things. Yeah. I'm getting it in each and every game. Mm. You know, hey, when you start the game, I'm already five nil down. You understand? I Under need to recover. Five nil down. Already. I need to recover those five things. Yeah, yeah. You understand? 
when I win, I'm a friend, I deserve even a, 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 a code ring. Yeah, yeah. Because I've beaten five things, meaning that it's six, five. Yeah. You know, so yeah. when you relax, one of these things, you won't even recover. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that when you're playing for Chiefs, it's different to come, let's say to, today I'm going to play uh, Chiefs versus Baroque, right? And I'm playing for uh, Cape Town City with the respect against Baroque. It's yeah. totally different. Eh? So that's true. I'm, I was laughing when people says, "Ah, Chiefs, they were they they, they couldn't even beat Milford. Milford was 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 thrashed by uh, Stellenbosch." Then I said, "Please tell them that, brother." Then I said, "You know yeah. what? Yeah. They don't understand when it comes to the badge of Kaiser Chiefs. Every player, they are coming with A plus game, meaning that they are thirty three versus eleven. You know what I'm saying? So when they <laughs> they want to take your space, they, they want to impress so much because they want to yeah, yeah, exactly. even yeah, about yeah. a, a car yeah. whatever. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a saloon. Yeah, they make money when they play chips because they will come and get cut. The coach doesn't they, even coach these boys. It just no. the first eleven, right? But 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 it's sometimes I'm, they, I'm a new yeah, I'm a guy. You know what to do. Yeah, you know, you know what to do. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's different from for Kaiser Chiefs players. We always talk about that. Like now that. Mentality changes now for the Kaiser Chiefs mm -hmm. players playing against a unknown team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got a Katsanda. How do you psych yourself up in that? Like you're playing against an unknown team. Me, big man, to be honest, me personal, the way I think, uh, I was not normally. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Serious, I was not normal. Yeah. Even when Coach Others want to come with his DDC team to play senior team, I I'll bring my shin guards. I used to kick. He used, I, to, kick. He I used to kick everybody. I don't give a damn because you know what? These kids they, they wanna embarrass me. These kids they wanna take my position. So when you're going to play a smaller team, ooh. that child ooh, is like, coming to take your jazz. Remember, Chiefs games are always on TV. Yeah. This gonna say, oh, Katsandi was outclassed because this boy is Lavish, gonna tell people yeah, yeah. in in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So imagine me go with a, with a low tempo. I'm dead. I'll make sure I bring my A game. If you beat me, you work hard. You understand? So myself, this these games, I'll actually even treat them with more respect than PSL because that's where your mindset is tested, your mentality, your professionalism is going to be tested in those kind of games. There's a game we played Akon Bush, Chiefs. In in New when, when was it? I think it, yeah. When was it? Was it camp? Were we, were we camp in there? No, no, no. We're playing a, a, a net bank. You okay. guys just left. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. I was relaxed. You know when you have, you know my I'm not, I'm not good like you on the ball, right? No, nah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Sometimes whatever, when yeah. I have the yeah, ball, you know you you got it. You just, I have you just, the ball. You choose to play like in coma, but you do know you you do know how to play. When yes. I, you, you you understood your job. Yes. So what so, happened is. So what you catch with us? What happened is when when you got into the field, you just said I'm kicking everybody. You you were like a workhorse yes. for the team. You understood that you needed to break play, mm. like you know, for Kaiser Chiefs to win. Win the ball, give Shaba, give me on the right, yes, give Killer, whoever that's uh, whoever that's up front there to score the goals. So that that was your job. It exactly. didn't mean that you didn't have skill. Yes. It's understanding your job. So get that Thank right. Thank you. Yeah, we spoke about. Yeah. So I'm talking about the the, the, the lower leagues. So I was having the ball under control. 100% the ball is me. Yeah. I already passed. You know what happened with the, the, the young boy? Uh. He comes stepped on my angle. <laughs> I could hear my angle. In the... No ways. And I went, to, I went down. Like the game is still like, you know, and, you know, people back home, they said, you know what? Our wall is already down now. I get up with the sword in me. I finished the game. You know why? Because I pride. I pride to say, oh, yeah, you know yeah. what? On TV, people big home say, oh, Katsandi, you understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand. No, I said, yeah, no, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I said, no, what? I've got pride. Then, but after the game, uh, big man, it, it, it was a mess. When you, 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 you play for Kaiser Chiefs, you don't know if the, tomorrow the, 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 the chance is going to come again. Because me, when, when my, 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 thing, my, my, my last game uh, finished, because I thought maybe you're going to get another one tomorrow. But that was that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can see that whenever I give you an opportunity, bring your heart. You know, sometimes I will not, not have the best of the game, but in case the chief supporters will not even, I mean, uh, question your, com your, your, your commitment. Commitments, yeah. Because at the end of the day, you have to perform. You have to perform. You have to perform. We can, it seems to win one game is not enough. To win two games is not enough. To have one good performance is not enough. It's about every single day. 
every single day. So we need that kind of players to have this kind of mentality. Talk, let me ask you this. You played 300 and going back a bit, like, you know, 341, 43, 45, 45, right? Did you get like, uh, after a hundred games, did you get a jersey from the, from the team? Uh, uh, we see that happening in Europe most of the time. Yeah. Like, you know, before the game, they're celebrating a certain player. If yeah. there's a certain milestone that they're celebrating yeah. of him, yeah. like, you know, did yeah. you, you must have like, you know, three jerseys now that says it was a hundred, two hundred, three hundred. And plus now you're beating Nengo mm. with mm. one game. Yeah, that's yeah. probably like four jerseys. Having, mm. You are, you, you, you are among you are you are among the greatest players that has played for Kaiser Chiefs as a foreigner. Mm-hmm. So that means you should be having like you know mm-hmm. nice, nice framed jerseys at home, like whatever. Did you get any anything like that? I think I got one, which is was two hundred only. Two clips. Yeah, only. Okay. But I have your hundred, I didn't. Your two fifty, I didn't. Your three hundred, I didn't. Even the the, the one you best foreigner, the, the best foreign player. I didn't. Yeah. Even the derby, because I think I played on according to my count, thirty three consecutive. I, mean, I played like eight derbies. You played what? <laughs> thirty three. Thirty three consecutive. How many of that did you win? If you I remember. Sh- I think w- with I think we lost it should be four. No, thirty three. Because I, I still remember I played one after my mom died. Then they had to bring me. He says, you know, Mr. Alessandro, this uh, something needs to be sorted out in the derby. <laughs> you know, so so I, immediately after burying your mom, you yeah, came I back to play. Team, yeah. I forgot I, that. I, I had a tight punch. I had to sort it out because my team really wants me. My boy, so like you, out of the 33, you won four? No, no, I, we lost. We lost four? Yeah. Some of them they draw, some of them they win. Because we never lost lots of games when I was playing the derby. You know, they know. How, how, did, how did you like the David? T- tell me about that. No, the Derby, the Derby is not a game. It's a lifestyle. It's more than a game. You know what Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you though you, though you were players. using us a lot, ah! but you know, you know that Derby's are, are special <laughs> yeah. games. You know, people say that Derby, you know, Derby is this, Derby is oh, oh, eh, eh, overrated, something. They never experience that. Or maybe they don't have a team there. Derby is a Derby, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, trust me, you never have a, a derby. I mean, you never have something bigger than a derby. It's just more than a game. People say, ah, these are three points, are the same three points you play. Amazulu, your, mm. your tax. Mm. Ah, my friend, you're, you're, cheese, you're yeah. lying because you never be there. Yeah, because I, I, rem- I remember. I, I was there, yeah. so I know exactly how it is. People are lying. It's, it's not more than a game. It's a lifestyle. Remember what I told you? You can play for Stellenbosch yeah. against Pirates. Yeah. And you have a hell, hell of a good game. It's different to play the same Pirates under Kaiser Chiefs belt. Uh-huh. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. 15 minutes is like maybe Ujile, Irol, Yenandos. Seriously. The, 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 the lips are white already. Yeah. 15 minutes. <laughs> At FNB Stadium, yeah. 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 remember you were there. We lost 3 nil, 18 minutes. Ben, ben yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But we came back, we ended up losing 3 2. Yeah. So you see the, the, the vibe of the vibe of the derby. People say that the derby it's not is not the same, n- blah, blah. Because yeah. they don't have a team there and they are not even, they never experienced that. Derby is a derby, my friend. Even post our, our lifetime, derby will remain a derby. So so it's it's a special game. Me, I'm I'm happy that um I I took part of that. But I have a a, a nightmare of a derby. <laughs> Which one? No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, I think most of us yes. have. I mean, that's one no, of the biggest games. Worse. Which one is this, Tom? Look, I don't remember. Look, brother. Yeah, I'm a village boy. Yeah, yeah. Remember, I'm a village boy. You know, though, yeah, hey, Josie, gonna malaise my ningi. Yeah, now I'm a Josie boy. You know, we came we came town, man. Yes, you are in Josie. Yeah, I'm ready. I came. The job, I know nothing besides reading Derby on the kickoff. You understand? I know, I it's, listen, I know nothing. I knew nothing. Yeah, yeah. True story, yeah. To know that the Derby is like this. When we walk in, it was a chain final here with Pirates, you big boy, you know. The one who did we, we lose? Lost one we lost one year. Oh, Kune, Kune when Kune was, tried was it. It was Manyesa that scored. Manyesa scored that one, right? He yeah. was a diver in the swimming pool. I don't yeah, know what happened. Manyesa, like, you know, took a shot out of From the sand. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. not even, I was thinking maybe we were going to penalties. Yeah. But anyway, it's okay, mistakes. Hey. And, ah, I, and, and I'm coming as a, as a, as a, as a, as a bench warmer from Ajax. I remember I was the, in that yeah, the greatest yeah, Ajax, but I was that, a bench warmer yeah, because yeah. I was waiting for my open mm-hmm. Now, my first game, I came in as a sub. I think it was uh, 70 minutes. That game? 
Yes. Uh, MT and Fina. Was Ningbo playing that game? Yes. So they, they took him out or they, they, no, they, they took out Shaba. Fun favorite. Fun Shaba would say, don't go to the World Cup goal, friend, my friend. No then way. You, you put me, village of boy. So you had the two tough boys in the middle of that game. Did, was I playing that game? Yes. We were resisting. We so so uh, Pirates was coming, Baba. Yeah, I remember, I remember I played with Nengo for Bobby to see me. I was playing with Nengo. Oh, uh, national team. Nengo, yeah. Nengo was holding me. I was still energetic a bit. I was going. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. I think that, he was injured. Yes, like yes. They just came back from the World Cup. I think they just yes, had it like my, a, yeah. My friend, yeah. I came in for Shaba one. That was the biggest scam. <laughs> I'm telling you. Coming in for a left winger. That was the biggest scam. Yeah. One. So a fan favorite. Yeah. Like the whole stadium, 97,000. Did you ever, did you ever experience 97,000 <laughs> to doubt you before you even kick the ball? Then the derby used to fill up the stadium. Nobody. We used to. We used did, to yeah. did you ever experience that people doubted you once you still standing before kicking the ball? Um, no. So, so did was, it happen to you? That was me. People say, oh, ah. oh. <laughs> hola, 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 hola. Hey, me, I'm joking, so when joking. you came on, but keep pushing up and turn about to bat again. It's a bong shang in Zanga. Good luck. I came in. It's like maybe when I came in, stadium management switch off the lights. And bona nix. A dab mix. Were you scared, Doc? Do you think you're like, were you yeah. that, were you that, so 100%. you had like anxiety? 100%, all that, because yeah. one, it killed me walking in pitch inspection. 97,000 is my first time, my friend. In Zimbabwe, I never played with a big team. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the desert alone. And you know, sometimes you need to carry yourself like, ah, no, ah, me, I'm, I'm Skogo. My friend, you're lying. Deep down, I was dead. I so, was do, like, <clears throat> so are you saying that the pressure, the amount of pressure that you get for being part of the derby is that immense if you've never played it. Is that how you really felt? Like, you know, you felt heavy the first one. But then what, what happened? Did you pick yourself up on the second one? Or the second one, you already played a few games? The second was one actually worse than the first one. Aye, man. I'll tell I'll ah, take it. Go. <laughs> yes. What? So, my friend, I used to like study the management switch off the lights. And now the ball comes to me. I Because you're in the dark. You know, you can't see anything. Yeah. And I'm losing the, the, the ball. The whistles, Baba. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bobby, no, no, did Bobby. they do that? Yeah. I don't remember. And they just game, kept in, my like, friend. Yeah, you know. The, yeah, they're not forgiving. Yeah, that, that was that was a nightmare. But, but that to keep push up, but and then you're gonna go lose the ball in the middle. The and the Baba, we lost one nil. Yeah. Hey, I remember bad. that game and Then midweek we're going to Cape Town to play Ajax. Yeah. I was on the bench. Oh, you never used to play that time. Yes, Ajax yeah, never used know, to use him most of the time. The was full again, eh? Yeah. Because they, they love Chiefs, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I didn't play. I said, hey, go <laughs> You understand? Are you, are you going to thank everybody for not playing, sure. bro? Like, but, bro, I'm still so recovering. Still recovering from the I'm last still game. recovering. You know, I'm a village boy. I know nothing. You know, if it was you experience play, you know, oh. you know what? You need a second chance to, to redeem yourself. Me, I'm very, my friend, I'm young. I'm 22. Really? My Hold up, bro. Like, so how long did it take you to settle down? It, it, uh, I never, I never... I never picked it up. Do you know what I mean? Hence, I'm, I'm shocked now. How long did it take you to settle it? No, it took me about six months. Cause look, no, look. After that, we played Ajax. Yeah, we went back to to Jobe. Yeah, we drew one one. Back to Jobe was Saturday. Derby again with Pirates. This so same that's a Pirates. game. Now we played the league. league. Yeah, yeah. My friend. Did we lose or we win the we game? We won. Listen, they I didn't play in Ajax. Yeah. They said the coach can drop me. He couldn't drop me, my friend. <laughs> Listen, then Jali kicked a baloy. First 13 minutes. Baloy can't even give. I'm even deep down my head. You're like, can, not me. Can, not me. Can, can get you up, continue, get up. Can you continue, Can you continue? Yeah. Please, I'm not okay. And the stadium is full. Eh? Again, it's in the end. It's in the afternoon now. Yeah. Hey, bro. Coach just said, VV. Get inside. No, 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 man. No tactic, nothing. Get you inside. You didn't want to go. You didn't want to go in. I didn't want to. Hey, but I said... Katsan, I didn't know this, bro. Like, I played with you every time I trained with you because you always look so confident. It was... You never it, complain it, or anything. It, it, it was a nightmare. It, so, it, it, so, you see, like, like this is, these are the things that a lot of people don't understand. They don't. They think that, you know, players just can just hit the ground running. No. You know, you, you, you come from, let's say... Um, Zimbabwe United, no, and then you just just been bought by Kaza Chiefs and people. That's what they expect. I mean, this is you look at Sundowns, you look at Pirates, you look at Chiefs. Mm. Nobody's waiting for you to get used to the team, get used no, to the system. No, 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 no. People want you when no. they buy you, they no. want you to be a big player from there. Exactly, and they they don't even want you on the average. 
the performance, it's always 80% going up. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So when I came in 13 minutes, bruh, it was what really missed. And then there's no warm up. Hey, bruh. It's you and Nengwa again, or you play no, uh, Nengwa going was, forward? No, Nengwa suspended now. Yeah, yeah. It was me and uh, Ye Ye. Yeah, yeah. Because they had to rush Ye Ye back because okay. we were struggling. So now, I'm controlling the ball, bruh. I'm falling. I'm controlling the ball. We know. And the coach cannot make up to serve my friend. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You yeah, yeah. see the middle? It's, it's, it's hot there. Bruh, I struggled. You know, from there, I, it was in, in September. August, September. I never played. <laughs> I, I never even make the team. I was going to training, you know, that today. You remember, I, I was not back, aware. back then, uh, people used to come with their uniform in the boat of the car. Yeah. yeah. And when they announce the team, you take your bag. And I, yeah. I was coming yeah, to they, they nothing. Used to, yeah, they used to like name the, the, our, the mm. team that's going to camp. Yeah, on, yeah. If you play Saturday, yeah. we used to like, you know, train first on Friday. Yeah. After the session, they, they name the, the team. And yeah. then from that session, then we go to camp. Yeah. So, so nobody knew. Nobody was guaranteed. So six months, I didn't. So no. until until in December it was around your nineteen or twenty, Jimmy Tao was suspended. Then he, I, went, I met the team. So they said, ban 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 in Katsandi, the twenty one. I'm like, I didn't even have a bag. And you know, Vivi was a uh, yeah 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 yeah. Like hey, when are gonna get this? And he said, okay, manager, what time are we going? He says, are oh, we for twelve minutes? Okay, let me go rush to my. Yeah, you didn't leave far and from I the club. Yeah, I took my food yeah, yeah. inside the bus because I'm scared of the goji. My friend, I went. Then okay, I'm stand by. Right, I'm stand by to. I mean, when go Jimmy, to, yeah, yeah. to to the camp, there two used to put two on the stand by. Yeah, me and stand by. Do many guys has get sick? In Dude, so you used to no what the, the first six months like you were not regular in the team at all. Not even sitting on the bench after that mess against the derby. Yeah, yeah. I never sit on the bench, bruh. It was bad. How did now? How did you switch that? Now, what, once you, it, it doesn't make sense for a guy that played so many games after. What 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 mindset? What changed that mindset now? Like because you, you had to step up. Something had to say to you. No, you need to step up right now. Which game was this, and what day was this, and what made you do that? That, that's the day I'm talking about. The one I, I almost left the uniform at home, like I'm not in the team. Remember, six months, you can't carry your, your uniform every day. Yeah, yeah. So when we get there, the many guys get uh, sick. Me, I'm standing by the Tempest and Mobile. So they need a defensive player. Yeah. So I was there. You know what you say, Vivi? My boy, you're playing right back. My friend, I never trained right back. <laughs> I yeah, never trained right back. That's VV, yeah. That's I never trained right back. You know, because what? I'm scared of him. Okay, coach, I'm going to do it. You understand? What? Then I say to Nengo, uh, Nengo was number six, and the Sue Sue and the Zwasia was center back, and Jambo was left back. I said, Nengo, please, Mdala, if you win the toss, put me there, far from coach, because it's even been eh? in, in Gaganja. You understand? <laughs> far from VV. Then he, Nengo won the toss. He, he said, ah. I said, thank you, Father. You understand? So you're on the other side. So you're other going side, to yeah, So yeah, that yeah. Jumbo can sort out with the yeah, yeah. coach there. You understand? No way. First 11 minutes, my man, what? One in. I said, you know what? This The problem of Davi started. I said, you know what? Ah, man, let me just enjoy kid in the garden. My friend, I was roving, Baba. Up and down. Until the coach says, Jumbo, do what Katanda is doing. Ah! <laughs> See, that's what fear, fear drove me. Oh fear. yeah, I'm scared. Yeah. Of so you're going, Remember, Baba. You're five versus five. You, you were going, Baba. Yeah, I was going like a zip, up and down like a zip. Oh, was I playing that game? game? You were there, you were there. No the way. So you see, the thing is, I played with you guys, you were, you were more mature. Yeah. Knowing yeah. that I'm a lost boy in the field. Well, I, I didn't pick so it up. You, you see, so because you, you get to be to be corrected by the guys who are yeah, yeah. like, no, stay, go, come. Yeah, no communication. Yeah, yeah. So she was there because, as well. I think because you I was yeah. also a, 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 a good boy. I listen before anything. Yes, you listen because you're playing with people. Who, who've been here for long, who've won a lot of things. So the only thing you're going to just listen to them and they, they'll never give you wrong information. So that that helped me. Second half, uh, now I'm by Vivi. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, you know now, the coach. Yeah. Father gave me the ball and the down the line. I'm looking at uh, my center back. Remember, I'm right back. Yeah. Center back is closed. Father is closed. There's nobody. I'm alone. Next <laughs> now you got to go day, now. I had to go. Yeah. I just pass it down the line where the last man is. I just say five versus five. You know, you know, who's, who, you know who kicked the ball out? Who? It's the goalkeeper, Kennedy Wayne. I already passed everyone. Because... Boha, my daughter. Fear. Fear, my friend, you're going to release handbrake. If there's fear. You release handbrake. 
So that, that's after really that game, it. dog, like you know, you never look back. So after that game, uh, how, okay, yeah. right back. Yes. Now that's right back. <laughs> how did you end up in the middle? Right back, because Jimmy was suspended. Yeah. Now it's a humble lap. Hey, 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 everybody in, in social media they're talking. Ha, finally we found our right back. Ah, Katando, yeah, the, fans are, the, ah, the fans are not like the fans are no, not. No, not me. What is it? The fans are scared. The, 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 the so whole. So what? Seba chigelu chigimi ma? Seba funa we. Yes, seba the high right back. Ah, the spend. What food? <laughs> Listen, even Brad Jimmy now, yeah. he took it to heart. Now he's greeting me while looking you know, on the side of the dressing room. No, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy was, Jimmy no, was competitive. Because was, was, uh, you have to understand, this is the guy that kept 10 Pirates, yes, Chiefs, kept 10 Chiefs uh, as well. And then Jimmy, like, you know, he was one of those people that, you know, he wanted to play all the time. I mean, that, yes. You want players like that. Yes. So, like, you, 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 yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. Jimmy was threatening. Now he's greeting me looking at the side. <laughs> <laughs> so now, this is the interesting yeah, part. Yeah. Now we went to going to play Amazon. Yeah. That was midweek. We won 2-1 yeah. that game. Happy yeah. Pirates. Yeah, me. In, yeah. In, 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 yeah. Tati show, yeah, me. Eh, Kathy, Kathy, ah. So, Rob, is a cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have played nicely, right? Eh? Hey, we're going to play uh, in Debe. Now I'm in the 20s. Yes, I'm so fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking maybe I'm starting again. He took me back to heaven. Remember, we call you to heaven when you are there. You oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, yeah, my last This VV yeah. took me to heaven. I said, but this. After the, after this the, the great was, game. Yeah, one joy, a car. Be, so who was playing? Jim was back. Yeah, he was back. I mean, Jim was the captain. Yeah, no, bro. What did you expect? Fuck me, a bench in here. No, man. Oh, okay. No, but hey, please put me on the bench. Who's a, who's a keeper, man? The bench in. Who was sitting on the bench? I don't know, but my friend, I played nicely. You right just came. I, I don't care. Even put no, your, I, I your top strike no, out. But really, my man. Design. No, my man. Like, there's people you got to fight <laughs> for your position. And you understand. That's what we're talking about. You understood that you being in a team, you competing with a lot of people. There's people, first of all, you have to fight with the guys that are on the bench mm-hmm. for you to leave that. You were sitting up there in the stands. Yes, I know. Now you have to fight to be on the bench. Yes, right? I know. From the bench, now you have to fight for the uh, the, the, right. the starting lineup. I, I agree with you, but big men understand this. I was young. Oh, yeah. Big I was young. Yeah. So, you know, a, a small boy, Yeah. you only think about yourself. Then by that time, coach put me there, you ah, coach, you enjoy the guy. You understand? After the game, you know what happened? We drew 0-0. Zero, zero. I brought my jeans in the vest, and I knew he's there. I wear my cape because I did so. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that. I, I, I <laughs> passed there in front yeah. of him. He said, hey, go, 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 go. <laughs> I say, that, where are you going? Yet? I'm going out. And by that time, I was, I was just going by the garage to come back inside there. Because I, I, was, I was made, you know, you know, as a boy, I was made. Yeah, yeah. He says, come here. When you come back from Christmas, you're going to play. That's when I start changing to Nashe Emiglin. So he already, so so coach already knew that he was next season, or don't mean next year. Yes. January. Yes, January, second half of the season. He said, when you come back, you're going to play Monita when we have Gula. But how did you get, feel though when he said that? Like, did you, did you really believe in yourself that you know you could take out such a great pass, a great no. player in that middle? No. No. I don't know what I did. No, you used to bulldoze him. I, I used to see. That's why I, I say I, I used, don't know what. I, I used to see your training, and, look, and the, the fight was like crazy most of the time. The fight that I used to enjoy it was your fight in the middle. It was Jimmy against uh, Lebesi. Yes. Jimmy used to kick. You remember how yeah, Jimmy used yeah, to kick Lebesi? Yeah, and I a lot know. of people were like that's another player that like, <laughs> one day we gonna have to talk to him. That's another player. Jimmy used to like he knew that what what uh, Lebesi could do on the ball. Mm-hmm. Like he used to like kick him all the time mm. and making sure that he tell, tells tells my about him to an end Yeah, for sure. Yeah, right. And you did the very same thing. Yeah, with, to Nengo. Yeah, with, you just didn't realize it. Yeah, it was it was a midfield because me I, I wanted to be uh, also swimming with the big boys. But my my idea was not even to say I need to take him out. But I wanted to show the world like you know what I can compete. Okay. So after that, when I start playing, I remember they bulldoze me in the derby. I become salt and vinegar. That's when uh, Yomanyisa and Jali, that dominance. Is that where the name came from? Yeah, yeah. That dominance, I think, when I'm present, it was not a walk in the park. You used to kick those boys, bro. They know. Like, like what, what, what's up with like the, they, those tackles and know, all those? I, I, I used to understand because yeah, yeah, sometimes they bull, yeah, yeah, they bull Shaba. Oh. Then I said, yeah, yeah, now can you, can you hold? Let me bow in advance eight so that I can try to clean up some things. Yeah, then you pick the ball and play. Then from there now I make them jump, you know. Now people are making this under pressure. We're winning the ball back, you know. Okay, yeah. That's that's why a lot of pirates supporters they don't like me. So, I know because of that. So you 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 basically, 
had to understand that you know you switch you switch off you're like okay i'm not a ball player yeah, i yeah, need yeah. to work yeah i need to work right so that's what we spoke about as well like you know understanding your role understand you knew role. that you know you were like a shield for the yeah. back four. that's why i didn't care to play without hamstring because i know that i'm not a ball player i just get the ball and put it on the side and yeah mark, and then like, you know, regroup okay. again so and just, yeah. yeah so uh, the, i think i mean that's that's what i really wanted when i took over from tinashe like i i was not even challenge because you know you know sometimes né, there are there are things which are not even changeable like you can i take tinashe me village boy yeah you know that yeah, it's, yeah. it's an unstart tinashe play but each and every game all bro. i wanted is was like to push to push did he take to it, push did he take it to person though like did he was he angry that you you set him out no, i know no, after no. a while after that a season later i think he left right he yeah, yeah no sport. he's the one recommending me there oh wow when you're playing national team you spoke to bobby like hey That's going to be my replacement. Yeah. Yeah. Did he say yeah. replacement or he, he wanted to play with you? Maybe he see replacement because he was more wiser and older, you know. Yeah. I'm sure I also understood like you know what he's actually getting closer to the end. So he recommended me. So if I say he took it personally, he was not going to recommend me to 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 Kesa Chis. Oh wow. Yeah. So you guys are still friends and like you still yeah, talk yeah, we're still... tight. Yeah, yeah. We're tight even when you, when you do a uh, bit bit things a bit i mean bit uh, bit game he used yeah. to come and tell me like oh, my boy this is not zimbabwe for this guys that you <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> you tell you that when, was, when you never played all what, uh, was straight forward yeah he was straight forward like yeah oh, you don't think this is zimbabwe you need to work here these people they don't have patience you know when somebody who it's tried and tested yeah, yeah, and yeah. especially when somebody wants you to to fail yeah. they won't give you that kind of uh, uh, the heads oh, up I hear you. they I hear, just say yeah, like you yeah. know what let me leave him yeah because as a foreigner first of all you have to work times two times more two. than me yeah right and 100%. now as a Kaiser Chiefs player I swear. they don't expect anything else but win they yes. just what they used to the culture of winning so drawing maybe you know yes. but winning 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 that's the culture you yeah, know so for sure. now you come in as a foreigner you he makes you understand that you can't relax For you sure. know that, that that's great leadership because yeah, I mean, for sure another person could have been intimidated and be like I don't, yeah, I don't oh, have to talk okay. to you and whatever mm. but for yeah, him to basically like you know like, talk to Bob and say go get that boy yes. that's what we need i mean that's what exactly. we need i mean uh, if i play for Kaiser Chiefs like i play for Kaiser Chiefs and they had to come to me they ask me about a certain player i'll be honest i'll give them an honest opinion and be like that's not a good player mm. for Kaiser Chiefs that one take this one take this one take you that see. one and i think that's how Um, we seen it. we're talking about it we seen it with sundowns you got Ezrom mm. Ezrom is one of the scouts at sundowns mm. and whatever you know and we need people like you we need like people like Bonen Gomashi you helping know, the you team know, you know t- Tinasha yeah. before a paycheck yeah he had a club at heart oh, you wow. know if you recommend somebody who can easily take you out yeah it's 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 more than a, an employment you you are attached to the to the team so you really want to see the team succeed going forward so uh for people like that you need to keep them within the the, the 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 club so that they help you in certain way especially in scouting so you need those kind of people so that the team will remain competitive time and again so i feel like you know if i had to give a sort of like a, 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 a mean recommendation to just because i love the team there's no way i'm gonna put my 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 my, my image on the line my reputation on the line I'll just give them the right person. I will give them like what you like said the honest opinion, yeah, the yeah. honest answers, you understand? Yeah. So you need those people to to surround the the club so that we we gonna try to we are eyes and ears of the team out there through that. Yeah. You understand? So that we we recommend uh, the right thing. I can be a good player, a big man, but mm-hmm. maybe I'm don't fit as chief. Aha. And you would know because you've been there. Yes, you know. So been there, yeah. there are men good players, yeah. but they can't fit. Yeah. Look at De Bruyne. Yeah. He was the choice. Oh yeah. You understand? Yeah. He didn't but fit. He never, he never, he didn't fit. But look at him, he's one of the best in the in in, in the world. Mm. So, this case of DNA. Ah. You have to understand that. So, what you I say, can, bro? What you say? What did you say? Case of DNA. Mm. There is this player. He's very good, technically good. But he, can he fit into case of chips a uh, uh, by by be a shoe shine piano, a yeah. glamour boy? Yeah. No, he can't fit. You understand? Yeah. With respect to the player, he's not a bad player. Yeah. But you know like probably like his attitude or his aura yes, can never can't. ever ever like you know that is going to be too heavy for him yes you can that's why you see we 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 get them out there they become to chiefs they become even below average because they don't have the character of yeah. being a kaiser chiefs player like me i came from the village i knew that what drives me is poverty i was in a shack you understand when i get my paycheck i bought my mom my house then i say you know what i'll die inside the field 
you like you know you how did this movie at uh, Cape Town like you know come up from the Ghana's bro like who, who spotted you from there you know it's a like, just now yeah he said he was my agent may so rest in peace oh yeah uh he's the one who saw me in my in my hometown Mtar. yeah I was playing for the local team there as a center midfield is a center mid yeah so we were playing and uh, you know I was a bench woman my entire career I was a bench woman until chips whoa 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 what I was a, I was a bench woman so they that game they said you know what we need to give French players a, what an opportunity to play so they gave me opportunity we were playing so he was there watching so after the game as I says I want to see the captain because I, I end up being the captain of the day you understand not I was not like I was the captain no 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 yeah the arm built only <laughs> so so he said you know people wanted to drive the captain now because oh he said Zaikas now is a big name yeah now people are sending the the real captain he says no I want the one with cheese call that was me then he says okay we want to bring you to Harare he came to Harare we I, I played six months I even played Champions League with Ali uh, Ali yeah with, uh, with the Gunners yes Gunners yeah because we won the league after that it took me mid-season then I went to Gunners I won the league Cause you I were played, playing regular like Gunners. Benji Oma. Yeah. What, what, what? Whoa, bro. Like, okay, but carry, carry yeah, on. I'm, what? I mean, like a cow. No ways. Yeah. So do, 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 do you think, what's it? When you were young, uh, you you always, you were comfortable with being second best? Ac- wait, wait, it seems like it. I accepted. Ah, I don't ask. Because look, let's be honest. You know, in, 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 your, in, your, in your hood where you grew up, when people start actually saying that ah this is this is just I can't go beyond that if you go oh. beyond that they said I flu then I said so you were just happy being part of the team yes. and watching other players so you yes. didn't understand how much power you had yes. at that age yes. so you you signed with the Ghanas yes and then, then you then get a chance to go to Ajax you still don't believe in yourself yeah I don't believe in myself before I go to Ajax yeah. I was waiting for a feedback a report from Supersport I came to Supersport for I, tra- I trained three days, yes. Yeah. Uh, Abu Mokin, they, they were playing Champions League. I think they were traveling to Morocco. Morocco. I just arrived in the morning. Uh, you know, I, I I slept by his house in Edenville. Yeah. You know, the fear. You know, you know, you know there's a fear. In the, I couldn't even sleep eh, the whole night because I'm arrive, I arrive at night. I can go to a Josie in Amalaya and Gagazo. Seriously, oh my. So, uh, Josie was just too big for you? My friend, I'm coming from a village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You understand the village. And you still don't believe yeah, that village. you're going for trials. Yeah. And, but you still don't Super believe that you're going to make it wherever you go. Super and they just won three, three, three uh, All cha- that time, yeah. championships. When they had Kaka and them. Yeah, and then I, like, I train. Yeah. I train, I train, I train. I even train. With Pito, was it Pito? Oh, was it Gavin Hunt? Gavin Hunt, yeah. Yeah, I train, I train now with you. My Dubani was there. Brent Carles was there. Tendan Chumar was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ricardo Katza was there. Yeah. Roman Kumalo, Mokin Gold, <sighs> Jabu Maluleke, you know. They, they they were still strong. Like, like, something like that. Yeah. They were strong. I, I trained well. Hey, but, hey, this training session of Gavin can kill you, my man. Yeah, I we, know. He's, we he's, ran. Yeah, yeah. He, but it's fine. Likes, you know, yeah, I'm coming in a village, but I need yeah, to showcase that. You know what? Yeah. I can do You were it, strong. So. I mean, you, you were yeah, fit. So we then after three days, they said, okay, go back. We're waiting for coach to come back to make a decision. That's when uh, after a week, my my agent says to me, you're going to Ajax for trial. Need to, uh, going to, uh, you couldn't even do it. That's, uh, what do you call it? it it's super sport. I didn't even, say, you know, when he calls me, I switch off the phone. You know what he did? He came by the right of the, the door. Like, come, the flight is leaving in two hours. Let's go. I you didn't want to go to Cape Town? I to talk this big. Yes. Then I, I, we went to, to the airport. Yeah. Then from there, I connected to, 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 to Cape Town. Yeah. I arrived there. There was Mgay. Wilfred Mgay. Okay, was yeah. assistant coach. Ah, it's uh, obvious. Yeah. He time along. He said, ah, the coach wants a player who plays a long pass, who can buy it, who can win the balls. Oh, Were you able to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, and the other team then started. Wilfred Mge was top striker, almost. Yeah. He, cha- he come and receive short pass in the midfield. Mm. Hey, I killed him. The, the same guy gave me information. I killed him. Yeah. <laughs> <Are you serious? laughs> I killed him. I said, ah, sorry, fam. <laughs> you I said, you, I mean, you know, with stress face, you know, no, you have to, Baba. You have to. You 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 working with, for your family with, as well. With, with stress face, I said, I sorry, father. You know, I said, ah, it's okay, my young man. It's okay. Hey, by that time, it was bad. Eh? But where's the confidence coming from? Because like at this point now, you this young man who's got talent but doesn't understand the talent that he's got and the power that he's got. Now you're going for all these trials that you don't even believe that you're going to make it. Mm. Now you go to Ajax, 
you start what did you, did you hit the ground running to us like when you got there like did you think you trained well with, with, with ajax i i trained first the, the day i said i tackle uh, wilfred it was a sort of a premiere because we're playing tomorrow um the next day yeah. against the uh, golden arrows okay. at, at philip philip stadium something yeah. like that in cape town but i wasn't believing myself was but i had to do because remember this guy came to fetch me from my door <laughs> i can't say no you understand so when I, you kick him you feel bad no, no, no. Yeah, I feel, I feel bad because he's giving me information. Aye, but it doesn't mean friends. I've seen friends fight but, the I train. But I was young, so yeah. the mindset, you know. So from there, I went. Uh, the, the game I was playing, I was marking the wrong course. Yeah. And the coach was happy with me. You understand? Then I was playing uh, nice uh, number Think six like arrows. You play. You started that yes, game. Yes, I started. I'm giving label nice long balls. The coach is happy. Like, oh, this is exactly what you're looking for. But uh, what killed me was a uh, work permit. The work permit came a bit late, so, so but when when then the team was doing well. That's the the Ajax, the greatest Ajax, who almost won the league. The team was good. when the permit came out. I was sitting on the bench, time coming as a sub. So, so I remember so, you never played a lot. Then. Yeah, yeah. Then until you beat us for one, you guys. There. And I was substituted the first first thirty minutes. Eh? It was no. a nightmare for me. No, but I, I remember. Was I played in? I think I was you playing play, in the middle. You played in the middle. In the middle, yeah. I remember. You make our life miserable yeah. because yeah. remember your living wing yeah. and you come in the yeah, overload yeah, yeah, So you yeah. didn't I know what to mark. You yeah, know. Yeah. And the sharp also come in. Yeah. You didn't know. And your strikers are the one breaking on the side. You know, so you your midfield was congested. You killed us because so, we, uh, well, I mean, we were thin in the midfield. So Katanda, like now you, you are there. You sitting on the bench most of the time at Ajax. They were playing. Who were they playing? There was this boy that went to Ajax Amsterdam. The foreign is it a Canadian something? No, 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 he was left behind. He left already. Yes, uh, no. Yeah. Yes, it was, he was a left back. Yeah, yeah, I remember him, the big yes. boy. Yes. So I uh, was playing was Scott and uh, Malulek. Because oh. it was more young, yeah, young team. I think we were 21 going down. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. understand? And the only oldest guy was uh, Brent Carris. Yes. He was coming, he came mid season. Uh, but so the, the team was doing well let's be honest that's a so team they, that nearly won the league yeah, so lost they, it in the last so, minute yeah. yeah so you have to understand where the coach was coming from but when the coach left the other coach took over one who didn't want me there he almost terminated my contract before she was bought me so the, the Dutch coach left and who took over it's uh, another Dutch coach but it was from development so oh. he wants to promote. You know when these coaches are on uh, is what is yeah. senior level? Yeah, yeah. Now they, they want, want to prove to a point. Yeah. And yeah. They promote the youngsters. and they promote and they promote. Oh, that's when they got relegated. Because there was a lot of youngsters, no experience, let go of an experience. They read and then you signed, you signed with Chiefs then? Yeah, that's why I signed with Chiefs. Because this coach wanted to let me go. He says, when you go for a national team, come back. We need to terminate the contract. And then I went to national team. Bob was sitting <laughs> in the stands. What? You see, you see what they said to you? My life, he was what just like, to you? I need to terminate your contract because I don't want to exhaust the foreign sport. <laughs> <laughs> so you went, hold up, hold up, hold up. You went to the national team knowing that you're going to come back and they're going to cancel your contract. I'm coming to take my bags. I don't know where I'm going. You understand? No, Katsando. So I came with the big contract from the Elaine here. Oh, Chiefs. so he didn't know. So, so, so Chiefs, they were watching you from the national team. They were yes, they were coming to watch Zosi Lincoln. Okay. Then mistakenly, so was cooking there. I like that. Yes, I like that. He was a big chef there of the day. I've I've heard of stories like that. I've heard of stories I, like that a lot I, I, in football. I almost killed a Kennedy when with the shot. And like Bobby was like, ah. Uh-uh. Yeah, you know what happened? Once happened at IX, uh, Hans Vong almost beat me because I hit a stand up ball the training <laughs> at the next team. I almost killed him with a shot. He ran after me in this evening. This no way. Uh, I trained him. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry. But that's that the same shot again. That's again his again. job. Why is he? Why is he? Why is he crying? He was older than us. Remember, I told you we were young. Yes, he's, yes, he's, he was the oldest yes, player. He said, yeah. You can't hit those balls to me because, yeah. hey, my friend, I, I don't have a choice. I need to impress Coach Moss. Got the I Bro, hit. bro, do you. You you grew up like not not having so much not having so much co- confidence and whatever. Now you get Chiefs wanting to sign you, and you grew up as a bench warmer mm. most of the time. Mm. Signed to Kaiser Chiefs, six months you still sitting on the bench at Kaiser Chiefs, mm. right? Like when did that like really like now start you saying that you know I need to stand up, I need to start working for my family and whatever. My mom tell me back home, he says to me, Mister Gatsande, whatever you call yourself there. I remember, we don't have anything. We rely on you. That's when the mindset started changing. When it started changing, like I still seeing life diff- different. Like look at this boy, look at this. Uh, your your late your late sister's uh, daughter. 
where you're gonna get the money to look after them. So your mindset start changing. Like you know what, uh, uh, I need to push here. Cool. Will do you understand how strong you are, bro? Do you understand like you know the role that you played at Chiefs? That hence you played so many games. I I don't know because nobody has ever told you that. Like you no. never had like a, somebody older that used to tell you that you believe no. in yourself and all that. So no. you never had a mentor called growing up. No 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 no. And I didn't I didn't have a father. My father died when I was nine. You know, so, so you raised by your mom. Isn't even you? even academics. I came here to South Africa without even speaking one full sentence of English. But <laughs> you know what? Look, what, what, look what, at me. I even no, it makes sense why you never look, used to look, talk. Look, look at me. I have an accent now. Like, Katanda, that's accent. why you, ne- you never used to say much. You know that they train. You for sure, but so you never used to speak English at all. Yeah, because I didn't go further in oh, the studies school, because yeah, of, whatever, yeah. I didn't. We didn't have money. This is the situation we we're in. I can't blame anyone. Oh yeah, you understand. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Is this also the, the if I had a father, maybe he was gonna guide me in terms of overcoming certain situation. Know. And I have my uncles. Know. My uncles all the one was milking our 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 daddy's cows, whatever. <laughs> so I didn't have any. He was a farmer. Yes, yeah. I didn't have anyone. They take my mom, my daddy's because my, before my dad uh, died, me, he had his twenty cows whereby I can we can sell one every year to take us to school. Oh. But you know these black people, black community, they sold everything. They left my mom with nothing. I was a vendor. Do you know that I was selling sugar cane on the street? No. I'm telling you. You see, that's why I say my life is, you know, sometimes God so is So that's what you used to do, like growing up, selling yes. sugar cane, and like you used yes. to sell milk as well at home? Yes. And I used to what sell sugar, 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 two kg of sugar. You used o- to buy it away? O- open it up. In the, in the, in the, in the look, like you, let's say you pick and pay, you buy it and open it up, you sell it by cup. I know that in 2 kg of sugar, there's this ones five cups, you must try it, right? Okay. Five cups. So I know if I sell two, my capital money is back. I sell one transport, two profit. Ten years of Chiefs, mm. right? You played about more than 300 games and whatever. Do you think you've kind of like, you know, shut your critics up with the, with the time that you spend it? It's really interesting because what you just told me, everything... I want you to be really honest and be like, did you shut the critics up? Did you prove yourself wrong as well? How do you feel about that 10 years that you spent in Chiefs? I am proud of myself. And I, for sure, I, I, I shut the critics because I remember I, when I started telling you about my first two games was, was a nightmare and people start doubting you. And from there, I never look back when I get an opportunity to play to say, you know what, I'll die inside the field, knowingly where I'm coming from, and I'm getting football is my source of income. And also, I think my situation back, back home helped me to refocus on one game at a time, to say, tomorrow, you might go back to six months without playing, so give your best, give your best. So I feel like I enjoyed, I play. I played to the best of my ability, and uh, I don't think... I was sitting regret like I should have done ABC because I feel like I I I I I did fairly well on from for myself. Hey Baba, fairly well, yeah. Stop being humble. You did well, bro. You did well. I mean, I played. Not a lot of people spend so much time in Kansas Chiefs. I, I spend less than that, you know. And you've got like more players like Boti Kitsiki, but Doctor that have been mm-hmm. there for probably fifty. Years. Those guys have always been there. And, mm-hmm. But you spending 10 years and you being one of the best foreigners that Kaiser Chiefs has ever mm. had goes a long way. And, in, and I understand you want to be humble and whatever. Take credit. You know, you've always been a bench warmer. You've always been, you, you, you've always been felt as if you're not good enough and whatever. For once, mm. you got the biggest stage to kind of like prove a lot of people wrong and wish you did. You know mm. what I mean? And, and for me, I played with you. Mm. I know you never used to say much. You just did your job on the, on the field. He never used to talk a lot, by the way. He never used to talk a lot. Now, I didn't know that he didn't know English. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I thought know. he was just quiet. You know what I mean? I but struggled. You, all, you know, and congrats. Today, I'm still yeah, struggling. Yeah. Big up to you. But I'm um, improving. <laughs> I'm improving. I see you dancing a lot now. Ah, uh, no, dancing. You know, sometimes I was giving people a little bit of, uh, what they call it, a, a hope for life. Remember we were in Corona? People were yeah, tense, like, yeah, hey, yeah. Dennis is off. Yeah. Uh, and then I just give them something to to smile, looking every day like, okay, Katsani oh, is gonna come with this. So it was just a matter of yeah. enjoying the moment. You know, when football comes back, when life start becoming normal, we oh. cut it off. So so there's a friend of mine. We we've got this question thing of people winning jerseys and say, we, whichever question that we like, we're gonna ask you that question, right? And 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 that person that asked that question wins gets to win themselves a jersey that you're gonna sign. So uh, there was another 
friend of mine who asked them be like ask Katsande like you know what goes through his mind when he's dancing like that <laughs> what's up with the dance bro what's up what's up is that is that like you know a famous dance in Zim or what yeah yeah, yeah. it's a famous dance in Zim for uh, there's, a, there's a greatest a musician friend of mine in Zim called Alec Macheso if you go to his YouTube or his page, you'll see those ones. They're like he's actually like he do have electricity in his in his feet. <laughs> Me, I don't have. I'm a bit slow, but him is got electricity. He's faster than he's faster than you. Yeah, sometimes he called yeah. me on the stage. Yeah. I kill it. Ask my wife. I kill it. So you go now. You you an artist now. Like you wanna be an artist now. I'm What's a hustler. What? I like that. I like I'm a like hustler. That. I like that. Boy. Yeah. So there's a guy that asked an interesting question, which the team kind of like chose, right? And the guy's name is Sepo Makathe. So the question goes like this, right? He says, like, why did you leave Kaiser Chiefs, ne? And did you put some cash? Because since you left, the team hasn't been the same. So this is Tepo Makatle who's asking that question. That's the guy that's going to be winning the chase that you're going to sign. Dude, did you leave some Mutiniana for team? I mean, since you left, the team hasn't been the same. What, what's happened? You asked the same question about me. Thank you. I was going to say, <laughs> like, I asked you. So, so, so I'm asking, like, this is what the, the fans want to know. Like, you know, when, why did you leave Chiefs? And then when you left, did you leave something, Yana, Mukla, mm. Yana, so the team can lose? Uh, no. What's going on? Big and why man, did you leave? Big man, to be honest, you know, I like the statement you said, like, we're not going to play. Till a man or forever, right? Yeah. It's same as me. Age in Kawadele. Maybe if I had a little bit of a going to borrow a 25 year old body to come and help Chiefs at the moment, I will do that. But to be honest, my time was up. You know, I, I my last game was the biggest game of my career, which is the uh, uh, Africa Cup, I mean, African Champions League. Are you playing against who? Uh, Ali, we lost 3-0. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, I feel like I, I completed the second. At the same time, look at my age. It was time for the youngsters to, 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 to pave way, to also to take the club to another level. Because remember, the club was taking a, a new direction, whereby they wanted to invest to the younger ones. So, I feel like, he, though I really wanted to be there, but I feel like the time was up yeah. for me to, to, to leave. To say that I cursed, maybe, maybe you, I can answer it in a good way for them. Like maybe I cursed because my hard work is not there anymore. But other than that, I love the team. I support and I still follow the team. And instead of me being a player for the team, I'm now a fan. Yeah. So every time I I'll be supporting them from a distance, whether I go to the stadium, or whether I watch it on TV, whether I pass my my comments, I always look into the positive side of the of the of the team because we really want the team to go forward. I don't want to be called legend for the faded giants. I need to be called legend of the giants. So I have to support the team to do well. But I'm not gonna come and play again. So I have to make sure the team do does well so that people are gonna be like, oh, I booked a but I did Chiefs before, yeah. you know, yeah. like how we, I, we, 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 we admire your tiki tiki, your Dr. Kumalo, yeah. your shoes, my shoe, going, going backwards yeah. because we are Lucas Rade because they they laid a good foundation yeah. and they still sing in a good way. So I need the team to start winning so that people are gonna be like, oh, I booked a they rub it into the next generation. Not like I, every time I go to the garage. Hey, Baba, Buyani, yeah. this old guy, how came an old man like me? You understand? Yeah. So I, I feel like I never put a, a, a case, so I still want the team to do well. Thanks for coming through, my brother. Thanks for honoring our invite. You know, um, thanks for sharing your stories with us and everything. You know, stay, you know, being the person that you are. Keep on being a great husband to your wife. Mm -hmm. You know, I know you're a great dad as well. Stay, keep on being like, you know, a great friend and a great son and whatever, take care of your family and whatever, and keep on, like, you know, living as a legend, because you know, you've done your job, you know. Mm -hmm. People are still talking about you because you got a chance, you understood that you had to go out there and write that name in that history books. That was the whole point of what the chairman used to tell us. Mm -hmm. He used to tell us yeah, about yeah. the uh, teenage ladders. Mm -hmm. He used to tell us about the Dr. Kumanos, mm -hmm. the Lucas Hadebes, and he said, do you want to write your name on that wall as well? And you did that. You know what I mean? You should never doubt yourself. You know what I mean? Okay. And it was an honor for me to play with you. 
you know, play against you and play with you. Yeah, they, you know what I mean? And I'm still talking to you yeah. and you still look good. You know what I mean? And uh, take care of the business. I know you're in the fashion business right now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I just hope that, you know, that business, uh, business is going well and whatever. Mm. And like, you know, post football, everything opens up. But thank you, bro. No, thank you very much, big man. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you to MTNFC for hosting me. Yeah. And uh, everybody at home, thanks for listening to Ask My Faith. You know you can catch us on YouTube. And uh, this thing it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for MTNFC. You know you can go to MTNFC. Just check out all the behind the scenes footage. You know what I mean? And also don't forget to go check out MTNFC.co.za to check on those players that played for Kaiser Chiefs. The most kept players of Kaiser Chiefs. From Thursday, we're going to post it there. And let's just hope that, you know, my boy's name is going to be there. I think my name is there. I think my name is there. <laughs> you know, check it out. And thanks for having us, my friend, for sure.